that's an interesting one there. That's Scenario number 43 with his back to us, or her back to us rather, and Scenario formerly with Eddie O'Grady and running in the Monksfield colours. Well, if Dr. Michael Mangan can produce another one, uh, or Des McDonough produce it for him after Monksfield, so soon after Monksfield disappearing, simply would be amazing. But this one uh, came good at Listowel for the new connections, beating the older horses for auction and going straight, and that is good form. They do tell me this one's got a little bit of temperament, but if uh, she gets a clear run, don't rule this one out. That's 40 through three scenario. We have some more betting for you. And scenario 25 to one. Broadsword seven to four, the favorite. Call me eight to one. Homespun uh, four to 14 to one. A tie anchor and the very thing on 15 to one now. Rat Tapu and here's why 16 to one. Mansky 18s. Apple wine and fledge 20 to one. 25 to one scenario. Frasas 33 to 1, Jade's double in Tinto and Little Walter 40s 50 to 1 bar. There's Fledge just trotting past broadsword number four going out the favourite. That's uh, Kathy's boy. Fledge is 22 from 20s and uh, broadsword, as I say, looking very calm indeed. The one we're looking at now that is Holmeson number 19, ridden by Bob Champion. Bob, who's trotting him round to uh, keep him warm. Broadsword is seven to four favorite. Hold me is eight to one. Holmesum twelve to one from fourteen. Fifteen to one bar. But Peter Hopkins has already had his money on this one. He won't be backing him again. But uh, he was uh, really, really improving this horse. And at Sandown he won by no less than twenty-five lengths. He's coming right at the right time. Just like here's why Peter Hopkins, the owner of these two, he's got a great jewel hand here. Bob Champion putting his goggles down. Mansky in the green, the Robert Sangster colours on the far side. They're coming all uh, under orders, so a good time to join you, Peter. Thank you, Richard. Yes, the starter asking them to come up and form a line. The 29 runners for the 17th running right, of the Triumph Hurdle under Daily Express sponsorship. Bring it on top of the gate. Four-year-old championship, they're running. They're off and coming to the first of the eight flights with the very thing, one of the first to show with Mansky and Frassas up with them. King Ragapan also among the leaders and so is Little Walter and over the first Frassas landed just in the lead from the very thing and uh, Apple Wine has been uh, brought down there. Miss Couture is the faller and brought down Apple Wine, 27 left and uh, one of the horses, I'm afraid, still to rise, and Apple Wine's uh, rider, David Goulding, still to rise, too. But uh, Miss Couture's rider is up, and uh, it's Frassas taking him along as they come towards the second flight from the very thing. Just in behind uh, them comes Baron Blakeney, on the far side of Baron Blakeney is Ra Tapu, and on the near side, Little Walter with King Ragapan, and Frassas well clear as they come to the second and jump it. Frassas over from Little Walter and King Ragapan, and Baron Blakeney and the very thing, and Ra Tapu and Ty Anchor and Mansky and Sharp Deal, and Lear and Home Sun going up on the outside of them, just in behind them, Disco Dancer, and behind him in Tinto, and then Tilbury, and behind uh, Tilbury, is Jade's double and looking uh, right back to the back marker. The back marker of the moment is Ty Anchor with a, uh, just one in front of him, Kathy's lad. And right out in the country, Frassas setting him a very fast pace indeed. From home, Sun going second on the outside of Little Walter King Ragapan on the inner. Then the very thing, just in behind them, Ra Tapu, Baron Blakeney, Sharp Deal, Disco Dancer, Frassas has jumped it but didn't look too keen to do so but he's still a long way clear being pursued by a riderless horse mistake there by Ty Anchor in the rear and it's Frassas from King Ragapan in second in third place on the inside the very thin home son well there on the outer with little water and sharp deal over the fourth Frassas well clear little water then jumped that second a mistake there by Mansky home son going up on the outside Ratapu holding his position Ty Anchor improving on the inner broadsword is about tenths now behind the leaders the favorite and over the fifth there still Frassas well clear from the very thing on the outside of the very thing is King Ragapan with Baron Blakeney right up with them and then Ty Anchor then Home Son behind Home Son is Broadsword then Mansky Ratapu losing ground fast now as they come to the third last flight Frassas from the very thing Home Son King Ragapan Ty Anchor sharp deal on the outside Broadsword is next Ratapu getting back in the picture now 
Just in behind him is Lear, and at the top of the hill, two left to jump now. Frassas in the lead from Sharp Deal gone second, the very thing third. Home Sun is four on the outside, and then Tyanka. Just in behind uh, Tyanka, My Timmy making good ground with Broadsword and Mansky in behind them, Ra Tapu, and then comes Jade's double. Running down the hill now towards the second last in the Daily Express Triumph hurdle, and it's Frassas being pressed by Sharp Deal. The very thing on the inside. King Ragapan is right on top of them too with Tyanka and Mansky. Fledge is also improving well. Broad swords just in behind the leaders coming to the second last. Frassas lands just in the lead there. Frassas from Sharp Deal. Then Fledge improving well towards the outside. On the inner, it's Mansky and Broadsword coming there in the center. And as they level up the home now with one flight left to jump, it's Mansky in the lead from uh, Ty Anker and Broadsword, the favorite, coming to try and challenge Mansky now as they come to the final flight. Mansky under pressure, Broadsword coming to challenge him. Ty Anker's in third, Baron Blakeney four and Fledge five as they come to the final flight. Mansky being pressed by Broadsword. Broadsword and Mansky over the last Broadsword lands in the lead. And it's Broadsword from Mansky now as they race into the closing stages. Broadsword from Tyanka now gone second, then Baron Blakeney. Baron Blakeney putting in a tremendous run as they race towards the line. It's Broadsword from Baron Blakeney. It's going to be a photo finish. Baron Blakeney's just going to get up at the line. Baron Blakeney wins it from Broadsword. Mansky is third and four. Here's why. Behind them uh, came uh, Mansky. Behind Mansky was our Barra Boy, and then Sinadia, and then Fledge. Behind Fledge was Colmy, and then Hopeful Shot, and then Rautapu. Behind Rautapu was Mr. Moonraker and my Timmy, and looking right back to last place, it was King Ragapan. And so the result of the Daily Express Triumph Hurdle, first number three, Baron Blakeney, owned by Wheatley Leisure Limited, trained by Martin Pipe, his 10th winner of the season, written by Paul Leach, number 10 for him. Second was number four, Broadsword, owned by Lord Northampton, trained by David Nicholson, written by Peter Scudamore, and third was number 45, Ty Anker, owned by Mr. D. Hale, trained by Paddy Prendergast, and written by Tommy McGill.